more great wisdom from Proverbs chapter 26. Fools recycle silliness. I like that. We no more give honor to fools than pray for snow in summer or rain during harvest. You have as little to fear from an undeserved curse as from the dart of a wren or the swoop of a swallow. A whip for the racehorse, a tiller for the sailboat, and a stick for the back of fools. Don't respond to the stupidity of a fool. You'll only look foolish yourself. Answer a fool in simple terms so he doesn't get a swelled head. You're only asking for trouble when you send a message by a fool. A proverb quoted by fools is limp as a wet noodle. I like that one. <laughs> Verse 8, putting a fool in a place of honor is like setting a mud brick on a marble column. To ask a moron to quote a proverb is like putting a scalpel in the hands of a drunk. Hire a fool or a drunk and you shoot yourself in the foot. As a dog eats its own vomit, so fools recycle silliness. See that man who thinks he's so smart? You can expect far more from a fool than from him. Loafers say, it's dangerous out there. Tigers are prowling the streets. And then they pull the covers back over their heads. Just as a door turns on its hinges, so a lazy bones turns back over in bed. A shiftless sluggard puts his fork into the pie, but is too lazy to lift it to his mouth. Like glaze on cracked pottery. Verse 16. Dreamers fantasize their self-importance. They think they are smarter than the whole college faculty. You grab a mad dog by the ears when you butt into a quarrel that's not your business. People who shrug off deliberate deceptions saying, I didn't mean it, I was only joking, are worse than careless campers who walk away from smoldering campfires. When you run out of wood, the fire goes out. When the gossip ends, the quarrel dies down. A quarrelsome person in a dispute is like kerosene thrown on a fire. Verse 22, listening to gossip is like eating cheap candy. Do you want junk like that in your belly? Smooth talk from an evil heart is like glaze on cracked pottery. Your enemy shakes hands and greets you like an old friend, all the while conniving against you. When he speaks warmly to you, don't believe him for a minute. He's just waiting for the chance to rip you off. No matter how cunningly he conceals his malice, eventually his evil will be exposed in public. Malice backfires, spite boomerangs, liars hate their victims, and flatterers sabotage trust. Wow. More great wisdom from Proverbs chapter 26. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com.